At Zimmer and Peacock, we're um, involved in the development and manufacture of a whole range of sensors, including um, sodium sensors, potassium sensors, calcium sensors, chloride sensors, water um, hydration sensors, um, ammonium sensors. Now, a lot of these sensors were initially developed for the medical diagnostics industry, where people wanted to know these sorts of components, you know, pH in the blood, for example, um, but, you know, they were designed for measuring biological fluids. But actually, you know, with the sort of Internet of Things and with building information modeling and with people understanding that actually they want to monitor the condition of buildings and materials such as concrete as part of those buildings, then actually sensors are now sort of migrating out of the traditional sort of medical space where we've been monitoring, let's say, conditions within the body for quite some time. Now we're starting to take these kind of sensors out into the um, construction industry, you know, from wet measuring corrosion to actually measuring things like the concrete. So here what I have is actually a couple of um, these sensors are ceramic based. And I sort of mention it because, you know, they actually are quite um, robust um, and hard materials themselves. So the kind of um, things that we're working on at Zimmer and Peacock is the idea of implanting sensors like this into the materials and actually doing the long-term sort of monitoring of those materials you know and when i say long term actually it could be just during the kind of um the hardening and the maturing stage but also maybe these materials can or these sensors can go on um through the lifetime of the building now we understand some buildings are 200 years so we you know that you know that, that that's something to be discussed now it's one thing to have a sensor and if I just did a quick roll call of what we have currently, we do have pH, we do have calcium, we do have chloride, we do have conductivity, which also can then play into hydration or water. We do have sodium and, um, and we do have potassium and we do have chloride and we do have ammonium. Now, it's one thing to have these sensors, but you also need, you know, um, a package, a sort of electronics package. So this electronics package is something that Zimmer Peacock has developed again for the medical space what you're looking at here is a sensor um, and so the idea of the set the sensor will be on or in the material it actually has um, analog and digital on it and it also has bluetooth connectivity so the idea that it you know it would be in situ for some time and it would be able to be interrogated or it could send data you know, and in this example, it's got Bluetooth, but it you know because sending data in in some other format to be determined. Just out of interest, we do a, a sort of a, a version of this electronics where we don't use this flexible sensor. We actually attach these sensors to the back end, so it's basically it is a platform. So it's a platform for interrogating and de getting data from sensors. The sensors initially or originally were developed for the medical um, space. But we now see that, you know, people want, let's say, smarter buildings and that's measuring maybe the conditions within the building. But actually, there's another part to this, is, which is what is the health of the building itself? So maybe we can term this building or yeah, building health monitoring. So if you have any interests in sensors for continuously measuring um, the conditions of materials within buildings, such as concrete and it's non-traditional measurements, you know, rather than just being temperature and sometimes strain and stress, but actually chemical parameters, then yeah, please don't um, hesitate to contact us at Zimmer and Peacock. Okay, thanks very much.